love. Months before I met you, I prayed for you. I prayed for a man that would help me grow spiritually and love me through God's eyes. And the fact that you're standing here in front of me <laughs> completely exceeds my expectations. I have never felt so loved, so cared for, and so cherished by someone. You have encouraged me to evolve into the woman God created me to be. Your faith inspires me. Your personality excites me. And your smile just melts me to the ground. I can't promise you that life together will be perfect or easy. But I do promise you my everlasting devotion, my loyalty, my respect, and my unconditional love for a lifetime. I promise you that I will pray with you, dream with you, build with you, and even rub your head and tummy until you fall asleep. <laughs> I promise to always be humble and gentle, to be patient with our faults, to bind ourselves with peace, and most importantly, keep God at the center of our relationship. I love you, not for who you are, but what I am with you. I'm just so proud to call you mine and finally be your wife. Jasmine, the Lord looks at the heart, not the appearance. Baby, you're beautiful and as gorgeous as you are, Jasmine. Your heart is pure and your spirit is gentle. I promise to love you as God loves us unconditionally, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, for sickness or in health, to love and cherish till death do us part. As 1 Peter 3, 7 says, to give honor, to treat you right with understanding and as equal as God's precious gift to me as I should so our prayers will not be hindered. It is an honor and privilege to be your husband. Thank you, Jasmine. Always, forever, I will love you. And now, Jonathan, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan and Jasmine Cruz. 